Hi, I'm Carl with Graphic Transfer, and today we're going to work on some uh, hard metal here. This is a scabbard for a sword, and we're going to be putting some uh, lettering on here off of this and some Celtic knots, and we'll worry about zooming in there in just a minute. Uh, just a quick few notes about safety. Um, you really don't want to be breathing this stuff. Um, it grinds this metal super fine and throws it all over the place, so we don't want to breathe it. And we also don't want it in our eyes, so we'll be wearing safety glasses, a respirator, and then extremely important is some magnification. Um, this is called an Optivisor. We sell this brand. Um, anything that you're happy with will work, but you need magnification. Do not try to do metal work with just your bare eyes. You need magnification when you're doing this kind of work because a lot of what you're doing is little and you need to see it very well. And if you make it look good with magnification on, it'll look really good to the naked eye. Okay, so we're going to get started here in just a second and get our uh, lettering on here on the applique film and we'll be ready to go. We'll be right back. All right, we're uh, ready to get rolling here. So we're going to be putting these words, abundant grace, right in here between these two uh, brass pieces on the scabbard. So we're going to go right in here with uh, the words abundant grace. Now this applique film, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out right here. If you've never used applique film before, it'll go right through a computer printer or a photocopy machine. So you can print right onto this stuff. And once you've printed onto it, then you can take the backing off and you throw the backing away. Um, now Shirley can zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to stand up because I want to uh, I want to be able to look at this sword as I'm putting this on. And this is a Celtic knot that I designed in a computer program that I have and um, it's really a fun program to use and you can make really crazy looking knots with it. It's a lot of fun. So if you're interested in that, um, you can find that program at www.clanbadge.com. A lot of fun to use. Okay, so now um, this Celtic knot is going to go right over here. Okay, um, we're ready to get started here. Uh, as you can see, I have safety glasses on, a dust mask, and my Optivisor. And uh, we're going to be ready to go here. I'm using a Shofu Lab Air Z high-speed air-driven tool. Um, you can find these on our website. And um, we're going to start over here on the U. And the bit I have in here right now is called a quarter round carbide. It's a little carbide bit, has six cutting flutes on it. And um, it'll cut in the metal very easily. Okay, so let's get started right here. Now remember, stay in the black. And you're going to have your tool wide open. And to start with, I'm going to go away from me because it won't be so aggressive going away. Yes, this is pretty soft metal. So going away from you, especially in the beginning, is probably going to be a good idea. All right. <clears throat> now I've got everything outlined on here. Some of it I dotted, some of it I uh, totally outlined the letters. So let's go ahead and pull this applique film off. Now you should be able to see that pretty good. 
hopefully you can in the video. And we're about ready to uh, go ahead and start stippling now. Okay, so we were using a quarter round and now we're gonna go to a half round carbide to do the stippling with. And I'm gonna be using the hemostats to put that in with. Grab it right there, pull down with my thumb. We're ready to go. Just lightly tapping this will make a mark and take care of it for you. Okay, now this right here goes right out to there. So there we go. Hopefully that's showing up good for you in the video. Now remember, this one goes underneath this one. So I can't take the line all the way up against there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a pretty big gap there. Okay, that's all the further I'm going to go on on that one right here because I know it gets harder for the camera. Now you can see, I hope, that I left quite a large gap between the end of this line and this line right here. Okay, so you can notice now that it is extremely faint what I have on there. And you may think, wow, that's not going to work. But yeah, it'll work just fine. Don't worry about it. This is good. Uh, like, for instance, on this straight line right here, I'm actually, you know, there's nothing in that one little spot right there. And it's real light over here. But there's enough for you to see what you're doing. And remember how I showed you to have the light down at an angle and tilt it over there. So um, we're just about ready to uh, get going on the stippling here. And um, I actually have one completely finished already. And I'll bring that, see if I can get that up in focus. This sword is kind of long. The, I mean the scabbard, sorry. There's one that's done. And now you can see what I was talking about, about leaving those gaps. You have to leave those gaps and let the eye have to uh, interpret that. And your eye will interpret it and make it look like over and under. Well, we got it finished. It was a long process, but I made it. And uh, this was a fun project to do. If you're going to be charging for some a project like this you know it's going to take you quite a few hours to do it like you're probably going to spend you know maybe five or six hours of engraving time alone and go through quite a few bits so obviously you have to get some money for this